What's up guys, I'm Maniac here, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to SSH into your iPod Touch. Um, yeah, it is going to have to be jailbroken, so if you haven't done that yet, you should go do it. So what you want to do is go into Cydia, and once it loads up, just wait for it, almost, oh, there you go, alright, go to search, and in the search bar type open SSH and it'll look like that click it and this will say install so install it and then confirm it and then your SSH will be open um, and you also will have to go so you have to go into your settings um, go click Wi-Fi and right next to the Wi-Fi you're connected to, click the little blue arrow, and it'll show you the IP address. I'm not going to click into it because I don't want to show you guys it. I don't know if you can do anything with it, but better to be safe than sorry, you know. So write that down, and you're going to need that for later. And now we're going to go to the computer, and I'm going to show you the rest of the tutorial. Alright, so now that we have the uh, enabled... SSH on our iPod Touch and that we also have the IP address. What you're going to do next is download a software called WinSCP. Um, I'll have a link to this website in the description. What you want to do is right here under Downloads, go click Installation Package. You want to download that and install it. And once you run the program, it will look something like this. Okay, so what you want to do is hit New. And under host name, you want to type in your IP address, you know, whatever, point, whatever, whatever. I'm just hitting random buttons. Then your username is going to be root, and your password will be alpine. A-L-P-I-N-E. That's um, the basic one that everybody starts with. You can change it if you want, but it's not necessary. So once you do all that, you click save, then it will save. Whoops. I meant to cancel, not close. Anyways, it'll save. So now you'll have yours highlighted. You want to log in. And you type in your password. And that's it. Your SSH and your iPod Touch. Now you can um, look through the files that are in your iPod Touch, like such as how to get the Game Boy ROMs, which I showed you in another video, which is probably why you're watching this. And yeah, so I hope this helped you guys. Um, leave me a comment or message me if you want any other tutorials of iPod stuff or something on the computer. I could probably figure it out. Alright, see ya.